Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the mix, baby. Now, we have a great show for you tonight, and I'm just happy to be back with my amazing co host. How y'all feeling, baby? Y'all good? Looking good? <laughs> yeah, we missed you. We yeah, we missed you, Romeo. No, I miss y'all too. I'm actually I'm filming a, a project right now, a horror movie called Hotel uh, Clown Clown Hotel, and I'm preparing for a that. movie called Monster. So I got to put on ten pounds. So I'm gonna be like this in a oh, minute. Oh wow! <laughs> yes, we love oh, that. You know? Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> enough about me. Good. Yes, I know you're excited for our guest tonight. Tell yes. everybody who's coming on the show. Look, you guys, I'm so excited for tonight's episode because we have another fellow Texas rapper getting in the mix with us, Miss Busted herself, Erica Banks, baby. Yeah. yeah. This one, Jess. Bust it. <laughs> I'm a bust it. I wish I, I could like naturally just like fall into it into somebody else or like to like a different. Oh, into the challenge. Yeah, yeah. it's a challenge. <laughs> Yeah. Look, but before we get into the topics, I just wanted to wish my mom a happy early birthday because her birthday is this Saturday. So make sure you guys show my mom, Tammy Roman, a lot of love this birthday. Saturday. Hey. Hey. Right, happy birthday, happy mom. birthday, auntie. <laughs> right. Another Aries twin, baby. We do oh, it. Oh, the Anton hit the Aries people. Right. Look, I'm just, I'm oh. just, you know, letting the other birthdays pass so we can get the cancer season. Oh, you know? get out of here. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> I love the cancers. I love the cancer. Thank you. Thank you. But you know, Romeo, I wanted to congratulate you and your brothers because they won the state championship game this weekend. Yeah. Mercy is a top 20 freshman and he dropped 15 points in the game. And then Hersey, he dropped a team high of 24 points, and he outscored the opposing team who only dropped 29 points. What yeah. the hell? Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. crazy. Hersey <laughs> almost scored more points than the opposing team. He had 24, they had 29. So shout out to my little brothers, Miller wow. Green, doing their thing. Those kids are real, real pro players. Like, I was looking at them, I'm like, dang, y'all 6'4 and 6'5, what happened to me? Hey. But God definitely blessed them with this talent of playing basketball. And they're actually, they're amazing kids even off the court. So I'm proud of them. Shout out to the whole team. Uh, they're the state champs, baby. That's a rare thing to do. So congrats to Hersey and Mercy. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, but but Anton, why don't we just get into the topics now? Let's get right into it. All right, for sure, Jazz. So look, let me ask y'all this. Do you feel that The Rock should be the president of the United States? Well, that's the exact question that has sparked debate on social media, because a recent poll taken of over 30,000 people showed that 46% of them would vote for Dwayne The Rock Johnson if he were to run for president. Now, The Rock tweeted in part that he didn't think the founding fathers ever envisioned a 6'4", bald, tattooed, half black, half Samoan joining their club. But... He went on to say that if it did ever happen, that he would be honored to serve the people. So with all that being said, I got to ask y'all, do y'all feel like we need another celebrity president? I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say, look, the not politic girl, no. We do not need another celebrity. I just feel like, you know, let's not make it normal that everybody and anybody can be the president you know like celebrities we already get to do enough we don't have to be the president too look Romeo he like I'm gonna be the president though so <laughs> what's going on in your head Romeo, 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 Romeo is looking like, like I'm trying to run <laughs> oh already before because this is the thing we're human everybody's human there isn't okay, no right. problem that he's a, one of the biggest celebrities. You know, sometimes you never know which way God may may lead you. And I think Rock is just one of those people where he's been successful and he understands people. So he's literally the people's champ. But um, even all the other presidents, they're just regular men. Rock is a regular man who just happened to be one of the biggest movie stars. So, you know, I'm all for it. If the Rock want to be the president one day and it happens, you know, he may have my vote. He still no, got to go, mean, you know, listen, prove his point. But I think everybody no, no, no. from the last crazy celebrity president that we had, Trump, like he was the worst president of all time. We do not need another celebrity you bet, president. You bet but not I will say, if we did have one celebrity president, it's only one celebrity that needs to be the president. And that's Oprah oh. Winfrey. Oh. That's I thought you was going to say Rihanna. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. 
I don't think but now I think she can run the country. I'm not gonna lie. I think she can run give the country. Us an album, she can't even give us an album in enough time. Uh, okay. Okay, y'all. Hold on. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that today. We go too deep into that. So does this mean that Kevin Hart is gonna be like his vice president or his running mate? Like, is that what's gonna happen? Let's let Romeo answer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's with it. Romeo's with it. Jamie. Yes, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was a comedian too. Well, do, y'all, do, y'all, do y'all think that um, Kamala is going to run in, in 2024 by any chance? Or do y'all think that it's going to be clearly Joe Biden running again? No, I think, Kam- I think Kamala's um, going to run. I'm still waiting on Joe to do loan forgiveness. So until he does that, <laughs> me and Joe not friends right now. No. That, that was big when he was campaigning and now he still hasn't done it. Um, but I, I just feel like Kamala is going to swoop right in and try to run. Well, this is this is what I'm fearful of. I feel like when situations like this happens, they're already starting to like put up this hype for other people to run. And it's like taking the shine away from Kamala when she tries to run in 2024 and it's going to like work against her. Yeah, but I feel like if she gains popularity over her vice presidency now with like her trust with the people, it doesn't really matter who gets the most publicity. It's who the people trust at the end of the day. And if people trust Kamala more than like, let's say The Rock, if he runs, like she'll win. Dang, I love watching Anton and Jamie talk politics, man. Y'all are so amazing at this. You know, you know what I'm saying? We gotta be, we gotta be grown folks these days. <laughs> you know, okay. All right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna move us on to the next topic. <laughs> so let's talk about grown men who are still living in their homes with their moms. Yeah. So SNL actor Pete Davidson recently shared that he has moved out of his mom's house and bought himself a new pet. Two years ago, Pete bought his mom a house and he moved into the basement and never left. He did SNL sketches from there during their at home episodes. And it just became a running joke that he lived with his mom. So I just want to ask you guys, because this made me think Pete is 27 years old. And I just want to know when do you guys feel like it's a good age to move out of your parents' house? 18. What? That's my, that's my oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you guys are going to like my answer then. I think we do have to break what I call a generational curse. Now, listen to me. A lot of parents say when you turn 18, you got to get out or you got to start paying some bills. Nope. That, to me, sets your kids up for failure. Now, if your kid goes away to college, I think they should be allowed to come back home and because, you know, after college, life kind of hits you and you say, wait, they told me with this degree, I can be making 100000 a month, um, a year and I can't even get a job now. So allow your kids time to fully understand the world and go out there and get a job. So I think 26, 27 is totally fine. I think that gives okay. them enough time. Now, Jazz, I hear what you I hear what you're saying. I totally hear what you're saying. I think that um 26 and 27 I mean I feel like give your kids time for sure but I feel like if you're able to if you're able to move out at 18 move out you know start (laughs) living your life you know like I feel like at 18 you're not grown no and you Mm -hmm. you are still figuring it out so yeah if you don't want to pay bills and stuff for sure stay at your mom's house I when did I move out Wait, I'm not gonna get into that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you're, I mean, you're not, you're not like the regular. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. you are, you are. Right. So yeah, that's why I understand what you're saying. I'm saying if you can, yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. I, I, some, of richest, some of my richest friends, they're living with their parents, grandparents, everything, because it's a generational wealth. I think our yep. culture, we put a number. You know, it's like, well, when you're 18, you're an adult. Even in uh, our day and age, you're 21, you could go drink. You, you're this age, you could do that. And I think we got to stop putting labels and numbers on what makes you a person, right? Because in my mindset, I'm always going to be my, my mom's son. I'm always going to be my pop's son. And I just, uh, I like, I kind of agree with Jazz. I know Tan on the other side, 18, he's going to be kicking his kids out. But I... <laughs> I think it really depends on like if you are an amazing child, if my kid is like super sweet, you know, they taking care of daddy, they can stay in the house past 18. But if I got a badass kid, your ass is getting the hell out at eight. Okay. Well, 
Listen. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, Tom. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. At 18, before COVID, I was going to move out for college, but obviously COVID hit, so now I'm still living with my mom. And it's like, now that I'm here, I could save money to like actually get a place that I want to live in and I'm excited to live in, rather than cramming myself with a roommate that I don't know and probably won't end up liking, a crib that's probably disgusting because it's the only thing I can afford as a college student. So I agree with Jazz. It's like, save your money for as long as you can. If your parents are willing to help you out, stay home. Like, there shouldn't be a reason why you're less of an adult for living with your parents especially in this situation he bought his mom the house yeah. and decided to move into yeah. the man could go live anywhere he want you know how much yeah. money that man got yes yeah, yeah. i mean I, I moved out and i moved back in with my mama so i'm not trying to say <laughs> you know what i'm saying i, I definitely wanna, moved back in <laughs> i want to ask y'all this would y'all date somebody at 27 years old that still lived with their mama. Jazz, no, nobody say <laughs> nothing, Jazz. Yeah. All right, so listen, I have to know that you, you have ambition and you are looking forward to eventually moving out. Now, I'm the same woman, I dated a cable guy before. And when I met him, he was playing, playing basketball overseas, he fell on hard times and he worked for Xfinity. And to me, that was okay because I knew he had bigger plans for himself and he had to move back in, you know, with his people. And I didn't have any problem with that. He was 26 at the time. That was no problem for me because I knew he wanted more for his life. So I'm the type, I just have to know that you are aiming for something. You just can't get complacent. Okay. So if they're aiming for something and they still 27 living with their mama, a year passes by, but they're still aiming for whatever it is they told you they're aiming for. You still, you still kicking a little? Uh, no, I'll probably, you know. See, come on. Come on. <laughs> She's trying to say it's so sweet. Oh, that is such a but, cancer. But it's a conversation yeah. that, that me and, and that person are going to have. I'm not just going to up and one day be like, well, it's a year and you're still living here, so I'm out. They'll know, okay, Jazz wants me to, you know, eventually move out. Yeah, I think circumstances is everything, you know. Yeah. We can't compare everything as the same. You know, if if somebody's, um, aiming to be great and aiming for greatness that shows their mentality is preparing them for that and it doesn't happen overnight all of the time and even in my situation I'm just saying Tom you know we got the family estate we got the crib where it's just me we got a few different oh, see, Romeo. well now Romeo if if I was living with <laughs> at, the, at the Miller household I ain't never leaving that house <laughs> no, that's okay. what I'm saying that's okay wait Okay, so here's my question then. Would you guys ever let your parents move in with you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know Rom- Romeo with his family. They, they, they're tight, man. That's why we come on over. I, 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 now, I was, you know, my parents have been incredible to me in my life, and they've always taken care of me and supported me. So my parents can come stay with me at any time. They can come live with me at any house. If I'm in an apartment, if I'm in a shoebox, my parents can come stay with me. Absolutely. Aww. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> and I, I was actually gonna say, I lived with my grandma, my mom's mom, up until like two, year, two years before she actually passed. So until I was about 16, it was the whole family, grandma, everything. So for me, you know, I would definitely let my mom stay with me. Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. I talk about like I grew up where like families were close to each other in our neighborhood and we one family's grandmother actually lived with them and she became like the neighborhood's grandma so when she passed R.I.P. Umi it was like the whole neighborhood felt it because like it became a family bringing that older generation down to like raise us as young kids I think was just a great experience so I would definitely let my parents move in with me can I just say I love my mom oh my god I love her um I would give her the world but she might drive me <laughs> I just don't know y'all like like my mom moving in like you know a weekend maybe but like you moving in like you about to drive me crazy my grandma now she can come she can come stay with me oh I love me some mama I love oh yeah you know mama mama can come move in but my mama my mama will be treating me like her maid in my house <laughs> oh. yes. All right, you guys. And you Bro. know she's You know she watches the show. So yeah, and you know she's gonna cuss me out after, but that's why she can't move in with me because <laughs> I don't gotta answer the phone. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we do have to take a quick break. But when we come back, my Texas sister Erica Banks will be getting into the mix with us right here on Fox Soul. Don't go anywhere. 
Welcome back to The Mix, you guys. Our guest tonight is a fellow Texan who has been blowing up the airwaves and internet with her hit single, Bust It. Bust It. The single has peaked at number one on the Billboard Triller chart, and it has over 3 billion with a B TikTok views. And she's even up for a spot on the Double XL freshman class. Let's welcome Erica Banks into The Mix. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, wait, Let's wait, wait. I just want to start because, for one, welcome to the show, Erica. Um, now, I know we're going to get into a lot of stuff in a second, but I just want to start off, just start it off with a nail check. Let's just get into these nails because one thing that I learned really quick about Miss Banks, baby, is that her nails are always on point. Please show the people your nails. Hey. <laughs> Please show. Yes. Oh. Okay, wait. I got to see the diamonds. Hold on. Hey, oh, diamonds in the nails. Don't oh, play with hey. her. Y'all embarrassing me. Y'all made me want to go to the nail oh, shop right now. Oh. <laughs> we give him, we give him manicure. Okay, Jamie, Ooh. you you are y'all get it. 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 Uh, It's too classy over there. It's too classy. Yeah, yeah like, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> okay, wait. I want to know though. Do you feel like your nails are a staple of your look, and where do you get the inspiration? for the designs? Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, Even when I was in high school, like I just had to have long nails. It's just a part of me. Um, The only time I get short nails is if I start hitting them. You know, once you start hitting these, they yeah. hurt really. Oh yeah. So yeah. that's the only time, but I feel like it's a part of me. And I, I mean, uh, a lot of people say in my music videos, they always see me doing like this, like, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's a part of, Erica Banks. It's not even an Erica Banks thing. It's really a, a me thing, but it's grown yeah. up into Erica Banks. So, yeah. I love that. Mm. Uh, That's dope. So, you know, Erica, a lot of people think, well, we like to claim you here in Houston, but I know that you are from Dallas. So, yes. Yes. Yeah, you you from Dallas. You even have a really dope song with another Dallas artist, Yellow Beezy Star, which is really dope. So, you know, what's the scene like out, out there for people who don't know? Um, in Dallas, a lot of people do think I'm from Houston too. I'm actually not from Houston. I'm in Houston a lot though. Um, yeah. work. But as far as the Dallas scene, I was um speaking earlier with somebody about it, and I said that it's really just now starting to grow for real, and we're really just now starting to get the the bigger artists come out of Dallas too. Mm -hmm. Um, we've had before me and Ella Beezy, It was um Cuban Doll. It was Asian Doll. Uh, we, had, I mean, we had Cash Page. We had Tay Money. So we've had a lot of different artists come up, but recently it's been like more rapidly. So it's really starting to grow. Um, because at one point Dallas really wasn't on the map like that, you know. But lately we have been. So I'm just really excited to see, you know, my city grow. Shout out to Dallas for real, man. Dallas is one of my oh, yeah. favorite cities. You know, I grew up in H Town for a bit, but Dallas is. I got a lot of family out there and. Man, I may move to Dallas. That's all I got to say. It be popping. They be living life. Texas is crazy. Texas got a lot of talent, I see. Yeah. But yes. talk about your song, Buss It, okay? Because it's just taking over TikTok, and people all over the world have been doing this challenge. I've been seeing grannies. I've been seeing little babies. I've been seeing men, grown men, 50 years old, doing this challenge. So I have to ask you, like, what have been some of your favorite Buss It challenge moments? Um, I always say Tracy Ellis Ross. She surprised me. Mm -hmm. Um, and Tracy seeing Monique, I'm like, this is Nikki Parker. I'm looking at right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like seeing her and um, who else did it that shot me? Gabrielle Union. You know, like these are all people I grew up watching on TV and movies. So to see people like them do it, I'm not even knowing they tapped into my type of music. So mm. to see them doing it, it was just like wow. So I'm still wowed by a lot of them, but I'm just excited that they yeah, are part of it. I want to thank you because if you wouldn't have created this song, would have never been the challenge, and we was able to enjoy all of this amazingness too. So thank you, Miss. Yeah. Oh no problem. Oh, you know, I, it's just great. <laughs> can I just say? Can I just say one thing? Um, I really wanted to do the challenge, but see, I just had my baby, so I didn't really want to bust my stitches. But I want to do it. It's so late. What are you talking about? Oh you think I should still do it? Like, I'm yeah, like, absolutely. You late? Okay, wait. Then I need help because I tried doing it and my knees were just not having it, and I fell over. Now I have a bruise. Like, I just I doing do it, it. So what do I do? <laughs> you 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 wait for me to send you a demo and you watch it. Okay, I will. Period. Need <laughs> that. 
<laughs> need it. But okay, so we found out that the originator of the challenge is also called Erica, which is insane. We're also really cool. Have you reached out to her? Because I know it's kind of a thing to put like the TikTok dances and music videos. So like, is that an idea? So actually, with um with the creator Erica, big shout out to her once again. I was never able to um. I guess connect with her um of course not physically I don't even think she's from Texas but I wasn't able to ever speak with her but I did uh find her account I uh put the video on my page gave her a big shout out um the post on my page even blew up because everybody was trying to figure out who the originator was um but unfortunately when the challenge came out the video was already put out but you know had the video not been put out we would have definitely um made her a part of that so I'm just, you know, appreciative that she even did the challenge because before she did the challenge, I was unfamiliar with TikTok. I didn't even know how TikTok worked. So she opened me up to the app. So big shout out to you for even doing the challenge. We appreciate you so much. And if you see this, you need to DM me because I could never find your Instagram, girl. Oh, <laughs> girl, girl, girl that's, that's what's up. That shows that you know. So, so do you feel that TikTokers deserve any like form of recognition for creating these challenges? Because of, you know, what Jamie was saying, what recently happened with the creative of the track star challenge, he, that he felt disrespected, that he wasn't like in the Mooski video. Most definitely. I feel like if anybody makes that big of a contribution to anything you have going, I feel like they should definitely um be credited for that. You know, like I said, had we not shot the video already, she would have definitely had her solo scene or whatever she wanted to do. Um, hence my post, you know, shouting her out and just publicly thanking her for that. I'm sure she gained hundreds of thousands of followers because people will want to know who did it so i definitely think if anybody you know gives that much energy to your song and it blows up because of them they should definitely get a scene a shout out something you know yeah i feel you and i gotta tell you you know my family we from down south actually been watching your career and you are a prime example of god's timing because i know you've been putting in work this wasn't no overnight success like you really do this but even with that being said you got the busted remix, another one, and you got Travis Scott on there. How did that Ooh. collaboration come aboard? That was crazy. Um, it was actually a surprise. I didn't even know it was going down. Um, I got a call from a DJ one day. I was in the car, and the DJ was like, uh, I'm about to play you a record real quick. I want you to listen to it. So he started playing Busted. And I was like, Yeah, this is my song. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> He was like, no, just listen. So I'm listening, and then I hear Travis Scott. And I'm like, what's going on? And he was like, that's what's going on. So um, wow. he told me, uh, he gave me the backstory, and Travis himself said, and I quote, um, I've just been seeing her do her thing. She's really been hustling. She's been going at it for a minute. I love what she has going on. I want to be a part of her movement. So big shout out to Travis. He decided to just bless me with that, you know, on his own. So I really appreciate it. Man, that's big. Yeah. Wow. I love the I love the Travis remix, but I honestly thought that you guys were gonna have Nelly on the remix, being that you know it's the sample at the beginning. Did did that ever cross your mind? Actually, my parents were going for that. Like when I made the song that night, my parents was like, if you don't put Nelly on it, you wrong. And I said, <laughs> I said, wrong, y'all, you know. I said, I think that's a great idea. You know, I even brought it to my label and we discussed it. Um, but they thought that. Travis would be a, a greater um, plan for me. Now, I did um, speak to Nelly. He loved the sample. Of course, he had to clear it. Um, his girlfriend even did the challenge twice. So big shout out to them for showing the record, all the support that they did. And um, yeah, so they both all four, they are pro Erica Banks. And I'm glad he even acknowledged me in some of his interviews. You know, Nelly didn't do that, but I'm just thankful that he did. You know, I actually come from the Nelly era. So I'm probably, I don't know if I'm about close to the age of your parents, but I would have loved to have like Nelly on that track. That would have just like made my childhood dreams come true. But I love Travis Scott too though. So I'm excited. Oh, for sure. For sure. We, we love both of them. I used to be mm. dropping it like an eagle, get my eagle. Like hey, that. come on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, like an eagle girl. So did you get a chance to talk to Travis? I've never gotten a chance to speak to him. Um, now he did promote the record, but we've never like had a face to face conversation or Instagram conversation. But when we do, of course, the world is gonna know, baby, because I'm going I'm gonna ride on that till I can't anymore. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. So you know, I gotta know who are some MCs that you would say inspire you when you were coming up. 
Oh, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Missy Elliott, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow. Heard you. laughs> and is it true that you used to DM Nikki? And if so, like, what did you, what, what was you oh, saying? What? I was blowing her up. Y'all don't even <laughs> I was blowing her up. I was either saying, I love you. I know you're not going to see this, but I love you. Can we do a song? What you doing? It was like, like, <laughs> random stuff, you know? And I think it's so funny now because now I get those kind of messages. Like, I know you're not going to see this, but yada, yada, yada. And I personally respond because I know how it feels to want a response from your favorite artist. So when I do have time, I do go through my DMs. And I just respond, even if it's just a whole lot of hearts. They love that. So I just, you know. Man, I, I got to ask. Wait, none of y'all never slid in Nicki Minaj DM? Mm -hmm. Only me and Miss Banks? No. What's y'all going to slide it in? Now, now, I have slipped into the baby's DM. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I knew it was coming. Wait. I knew it was coming. I want to know, like, what's you the craziest DM you've opened? And you were like, that is just so out of pocket. I'm not even acknowledging that I just read that. Um, you know what? I don't know. It was a fan, but he DM me pictures <laughs> and in the caption, he was like, thanks. You can come bust it on me anytime. And I was like, sir, period. Sir. <laughs> I didn't even reply. That. I didn't even want him to feel like that we was no. But yeah, they they do get well. I swear they do. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So I recently no. saw on the internet that for your birthday you would like to get surgical enhancements. So I wanted to know: is it like for your personal confidence, or do you feel like you need to look a certain way for the industry, or you know, like how do you feel? Girl, this is I love talking about this. This is strictly me too, for me, me. Too, sir. baby. This, this is not gonna cut it, okay? And I'm just gonna feel so much better about myself once I do that. You know, some women feel like I have to look like this, or I have to look like that. Even if I wasn't doing artistry, if I wasn't an artist, I would still want to do that just because I know how it would make me feel. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like in this life, you should do whatever makes you happy. You know, I'm not against plastic surgery whatsoever. So when y'all see me pop out. Just know, Erica wanted to do that for herself. Period. Period. That's what I love. That's, that's all they I'm with that, sir. And I'm going to like it, and I'm going to comment, and I'm going to say, yeah, period. I'm, period. That part. And I'm, I'm going to say, she look good. <laughs> so <laughs> it do, and she know it. So, so what's next for, for Miss Erica? Like, are we going to get a new Hot Girl Summer track? Like, let, let us know. Give us the exclusive. So with me, we have the um, Tooth That Remix coming. I can't disclose what we're doing, but it's coming out. Um, so we have the Tooth That Remix coming. I actually have Tooth That out at the moment featuring B-King. So we just going to refresh it, do a remix, put that out. And then in the summertime, I will be putting out my project. Um, we don't know when, we don't know what month, but we do know in the summertime, I will be putting out a project. My fans are just craving new music. I have it. I'm ready to put it out. I'm excited. Everything is hot and we just ready to go. So just expect the remix after the remix. Just expect new music, new videos, maybe a feature with your favorite artist. We just on fire. So look before Miss I Eric, am ready for look, this. Before, before she roll, I gotta tell her, I got a couple movies, and I'd love for you to do the main single for this for the uh soundtrack. Cause I really do I you know taking over. And I, I think you're the future. And I got this movie, it's like a Welcome back to the mix, everybody. We've got our girl Erica Banks, aka Miss Busset, in the mix with us, and she's going to give us her opinion on some topics. So let's just get right into it. Miss Erica, baby, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Come on, you better be ready. Come on. <laughs> All right. So over the last few days, you guys, women in music have shown up and showed out with new collabs. We had Gwen Stefani and Sweetie, and then we had Queen Naja and Ari Lennox. They all dropped songs and videos. So let me ask you guys, what other duos do you want to see or some duos that you think could give us some hot summer jams? Can I just start off with saying I'm, I really want that Rihanna and Carisha. I'm sorry, yo, Miami. <laughs> collab to happen. I don't know if y'all saw that, but you know, Brianna did say it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say. Cause y'all be trying to 
Hey. I really want to see uh, Erica Banks and his Nicki Minaj like collab. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Hello. I would love that. I would love that. Speak that. Hello. I let, would me, love let, me that. Speak, let me speak that into existence and yeah. manifest. You know, real. All the hot girl summer vibes. Right yeah. <laughs> you know what I wanted to ask you too, Erica, because I saw that you recently did a song with Jacquees, who I love. So mm -hmm. I wanted to know how did that collab come about and who do you want to collab with next? Jacquees, um, we actually did that record. The video is dropping for that this week too. His birthday is actually. Oh, cool. Um, but my oh. boyfriend is actually uh, very close to him. So he introduced me to him maybe like two weeks ago in the studio. He was so humble. He was like, let's do a record. I'm like, bet, let's do a record. So we did it. We shot the video last week. It's coming out this week. I actually saw it today. It's super dope. And um, yeah, actually I was at his mama's house yesterday for his birthday dinner. So we like, we like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's cool. But yeah, he's so very humble and I'm just glad we was able to work. So it happened like that. So who else would you want to collab with coming up? Coming up, I would love to collab with SZA. I love SZA Ooh, and Summer. Baby. Yay. Oh, you don't you don't you don't you don't talk to my heart right there. <laughs> it's that's, 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 like, yeah, no, that's perfect. No, that's yeah. Oh, uh, need that now. It's we love SZA. Yeah. I, this. I gotta ask you, who would you want to collab with old school? You know, like a Janet Jackson, somebody from who inspired you as a youngin. Okay. I would have to give it to none other than Missy. I want the old Missy though. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I want the, I want the, um, I, 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 I want that. <laughs> it's not the old school with the new school. I like that, Missy and Erica. <laughs> That's Thank a really good idea, Romeo. Yeah, that would be dope. Yeah. Hey, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's just like switch it up a little bit. Let's talk about Mr. Travis Barker recently getting Kourtney Kardashian's name tattooed on his body. Now that made me think, would any of y'all get y'all significant other's name tattooed on your body? And be honest. Ooh. Child, I got my baby daddy tattooed on me, child. <laughs> I want to ask Erica that question. Yeah, I want to know Erica's yeah, answer. Yeah, I well, y'all, I did it the other day. <laughs> oh, uh, girl, girl, it be like that, girl. You know, <laughs> we, can, can we see, see? it? Can we see? Yeah, can we see it? Y'all probably y'all probably not gonna see it that good because I just got it the other day, but it's like, hold on, it's his initials. Can y'all kind of see? Hold yes. on. Yes, oh. okay, I see that. You yeah. gotta get it between the finger friend. Now I, I know what you're doing. You <laughs> <laughs> love that man, baby. I love it's, it, man. It's, it's in that crease. We love that. Okay, what about y'all though? What about everybody else? Let's not let's not get quiet around here. Okay. Man, <laughs> I think if it's the right person, why not? And shout out to Travis. You know, that's one of my neighbors. You know, I seen that relationship unfolding a while ago, you know. So uh, shout out to them because they both got to, they love kids. I think they're a perfect match. If something's real and you feel it, why not? YOLO, baby, live life. Romeo. No, I don't believe I'm that. So thing you said. No, no, no. I'm tired, bro. Nobody. Nah, we got to be. Nah. Hey. This is why I don't like Romeo, because why is he there for everything? Like, you saw the relationship on <laughs> phone. Like, where do you be at, bro? Why are you at everybody's house? Travis, <laughs> live right across, Travis across the street and Courtney down the street. <laughs> everybody, everybody live in the same neighborhood as Romeo. Like, have y'all noticed that? That's rich people talk. That's rich people right. neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I, I need to walk out the room then. Nah, <laughs> baby, I'll walk out with you, baby. Me too. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get the name, but I'll get the date. Like, I feel like a date is more like, like the date that we, like, got serious. That's easier for me to cover up if we do part ways. I feel so like either a name... Way, either way, you gotta go get it covered up, so what's the difference? Yeah. Well, too, Period. with the day, too, I could make it for what I want to make it for. Oh, so you gonna lie. Uh, you yeah. say you gonna lie. You gonna put a lie <laughs> on it. You gonna say, well, gonna this lie. actually... Exactly. See, well, the, name, the name, I can't get around that at all. People gonna know, okay, that's what it is. Just don't do can it, I, guys. Don't do it. Yeah, can I say I, that this was something I felt like I would never do in my life? Like, I was so against this. Like, I would never get a boy tattooed on me. And then he got my name, and then months went by, and I was just like, oh, I do love him. Like, let me just go get his name. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm, like, so terrified. Like, I always grew up learning, like, do not get your significant other's name tattooed. 
So like, that's like ingrained. Yeah. In me. I feel like it's like a sweet thing to do. Like I love when other couples do it, but like for myself, I'd be terrified. I may get the whole face tatted. Oh, oh, oh you want your Janae, oh, Janae Aiko. <laughs> Period. Literally. With y'all. And I, I love the fact that y'all will get uh, it's each other significant other tattooed on you. Mm-hmm. But there ain't no way in hell, <laughs> ain't no way in hell that I'm putting somebody's mm-hmm. name, I'm putting somebody's birthday, I'm putting somebody initial. There's just no way. Because I know that like sometimes when you break up, shit gets volatile. It yeah. can- that means that mean you just date to waste people's time. That's what that means. Yeah. That's true. No, that's that's true. True. Yeah. I date to waste people's time now because you know yeah. I think time is valuable, especially mine. But I know <laughs> I'm, I'm a realist that like shit happens. Sometimes people cheat on you, people yeah. lie, people steal, people cheat, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just this like is so coming you from the guy who, okay, oh, you just exactly and Tom, this makes me feel like you have a tattoo that you regret. Oh. Or does anyone have a tattoo that they regret at this point? <laughs> but I, gotta say, yeah. I like the way that Eric could think because she's thinking positive. It's like, look, we're in a positive stage right now. If it, when it yeah. gets there, I'll think about covering it. But right now, I'm with you. I love you. Let's yeah, yeah, that's true. That's so, true. Jamie, to answer your question though, see, I do have a tattoo I regret. It mm-hmm. says "Ching Cha Ching" on the back of my ear. Oh, there it oh. goes, right there. It's a I match. Ching ching. I got it. <laughs> I got it. One new year, I was with my friends. I was like, I'm going to get money this year. Take me to the tat shop. I'm going to put your ching right behind my ear. Ching, ching. <laughs> okay, Jazz. Now, yeah. I don't know. If, you might not should regret that. That, like, that was kind of a fire deal. You said that. That's a good one. I like it. And Bruh, money. Listen. You hit a money calling. It's, it's with, Eric. With, with tattoos, I just want to go back with significant others. I speak from experience. So I always play it safe. So I have a lot of symbols on my body that other people out there in the world might got to. Okay. Oh, so I do okay. like the match. I'll, I'll do like matching symbols so that if we do that, it can still mean, I, you know, something to me. I think well, that's Erica, what, what do you that. Do because you started making that face when you saw the chicken. <laughs> she the said, she said that ching to ching. Hold up now. I just, I can't believe she did this. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, like, like, either. Like, like, was you, was y'all lit or you was like sober? No, I was, I was I was lit, but I'm the type even when oh, okay. I'm over, I just I'm very sporadic. I'd be like, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna manifest it. And that's where I was coming from. Like, I'm gonna get money this year, so let me put it on me. So I just get all that energy. Money, money, money. Here, you say you hear the money. The money was calling you. The money was calling. Name loud and clear. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I I have like two that I regret. Um, I have one on the back of my neck. It says hello, beautiful, which I thought was very nice. Okay. Until, um, you know, my pops, my stepdad, he looked at it. He said, um, he spelled hello wrong. And I'm like, no, no, what? <laughs> and see, what he, he didn't spell it wrong, y'all. But what he did was he wrote in cursive and the O got an extra swivel. So it oh. looked like H-E-L-L-O-E. And it's just like, no. <laughs> hello can't be yeah. spelled. It, don't, it can't look like it's an E at the end of hello. Like, now I just look dumb. <laughs> and yeah, you know, it'd be like that though sometimes. At least it's on the back of my neck, so my hair covering. Yeah. You know. Bro. <laughs> Romeo, you have to. I know. I have a feeling. Nope. I think Erica left on, on my note. Yes, yeah, she did. She was like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, on that note, on that note, I've had I'm, enough with that. I'm done with the mix. She said bye. Wait, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got a text. I got a text. <laughs> she said, Jazz, after that tattoo. Yeah, she was like, I'm out. I can't take it anymore. Are we got any more topics? But wait, I thought, I thought you was going to talk about your tattoo, Romeo. Yeah. You don't want to say, he's talking about we got any more topics. Man, I need to go get some more tasks. But look, we're running out of time before the next break. I want to ask Erica, will you stay with us and, and have some more topic talk with us? Let's do it. Why not? Yeah, y'all, y'all, some funny people. So yeah. <laughs> well, look, Let it. go to break, but keep it locked. This is the mitts only on Fox. So you know how we do, and we got Erica Banks in the building. It's going down, baby. Yeah, yeah. I get better than this. <laughs> Welcome back to the mix, guys. We are having such a great time with our girl Erica. She is still in the mix with us, and we're just going to get right into another topic. So Elite Daily recently interviewed a couple who met on the dating app. 
black. They said during the first date, they started falling in love and they've been together for nine months now and are talking about moving in together and getting engaged. That's very good for them, good for them. Now I wanna ask you guys, have you ever tried dating apps and what do you think about them? Mm. You know yeah, some know of y'all be drinking tea. I'm gonna drink my water. Oh. Right, like, drink. Romeo, you drink your water. Let, let's go. Let, let's go to Erica with this one because I, I gotta think about <laughs> this one. So, have you ever done a dating app, or what do you think about them? Um, I don't know if this one count. I was on the sugar daddy app first. Um, yes. <laughs> oh. And then I, went, we I tried to do uh, what is it called? Plenty of fish. I tried mm. plenty of fish. Yeah. Okay. But I never got to the actual dating part because I never found nobody who I felt was cute enough for me to even DM. So I never Wait. even got even you on know. the sugar daddy app. Like, how did that go? Because I really, I'm kind of interested. <laughs> oh, for now, the, now the sugar daddy thing. It was phone. I was just tricking them. You know how they go. I was just right. tricking. Yeah, look, you know. Look. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, what's the sugar, what's the sugar daddy app called? <laughs> oh, uh, it's called, uh, what is it called? Damn. It's called don't answer something. that. Don't answer that. Uh uh. Don't tell her that. Uh, don't tell her that. I'm about to be going to the sugar daddy app. You don't need that mix. The mix. Okay, no. okay. Okay. okay, I'm going to get my girl number. I, I do want to know, though, is the sugar daddies are usually like older, unattractive men. So, like, you really, they're supposed to be rich. That's the whole point of like getting a sugar daddy. So why yeah. were you so bent on like them being not attractive or like trying to find a white one that's attractive? If they was rich enough. I mean, I still want him to look sensible at least because I'm going to have to look at him and, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, we're going to have to see each other. I don't want to just, I don't want to be disgusted with how he look. You know what I'm saying? I'm still human. Mm -hmm. I want him to look decent. So I couldn't find nobody I felt was just good enough to go on a date with, but I was getting that number and tricking them out of their money. But I hope they don't see this. But <laughs> I'm gonna be like that, Miss that Miss Erica Banks. I still love her. <laughs> I know. Let me make sure. Like I'm gonna take notes. Make sure not to sign up for Sh Sugar Daddy when I'm 55. Oh. Years old. No, no, Romeo gonna be on now. Right, but what, I wanted to ask you, Zanique, because I know you're booed up, but if you were single, would you try the dating apps? Now, you know, I've never really tried the dating apps, but I personally feel like Instagram is a dating app. Like, that's what I... I hate really when love. people say that. I don't get it. It is, is a marketing tool. I, I don't even check my DM. I don't check my DMs, but I don't check them. To now, look Jazz, now, Jazz, why you just lie? What? Get her! Get her! Get her together! Come on, Come on. I don't. I don't check them. Look, when I check my DMs, look, y'all know how it says message request. I scroll. I see if it's anything about business opportunity, promo, or music. If it's not, I say delete all. Damn. Yeah, you be deleting them. Yeah, I delete all because I have a thing. Like even my phone, I hate having notifications. Like everything is clear on my phone. Don't hop on jazz. I'm with jazz on this. Instagram yeah. is what you make it, baby. That's all I'm saying. It could be a dating app. Well, it could be for business. It could be whatever you want. True. Well, yeah. I made a I made a baby with the person I met on Instagram. So that's what I'm just trying to say. Like, you know, it's no. it's a dating app if you ask me. Okay. Make yeah. it, and, it, and it's a money app. And, and it's, it's a money app. app. It's a money app. Yeah. Because for me, I feel see. like what you do for a living they see what you look like it's the best dating app they can shoot they shot real quick with a dm you don't have to pay for instagram it's amazing yeah no because i feel like, like half of instagram is fake anyway like people are photoshopping they're trying to make it look like they're living lives they're not really living so it's like i get what you're saying anton like you can see their lives but it's like it's not really them but i guess on dating apps it's probably not them either mm -hmm. i don't know i don't no, know it's not See, but my thing is with dating apps, you know that this person is looking. On Instagram, you're just taking a wild shot. You don't know if that person's in a relationship. You don't know if they're talking to somebody. You don't know their status. Where if I see you on a dating app, I assume, okay, you either want to date or you want to, you know, hook up. Okay, I hear that, Jazz. Yeah. But see, on, on Instagram, though, you got a, a bigger variety of like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I listen, so. <laughs> Yeah, don't know what like, she's talking about. Everybody is there. You know what I'm saying? Not just the people who, I think like, oh, maybe I want money. It Wait, is. I it's it's a little bit from, of everything on it. I want to hear from Erica because I feel like you have something to say. Because <laughs> your face is telling me 
Oh, I, I'm just, I'm just reacting to what y'all saying. That's how. <laughs> Uh, child, child, don't don't mind me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I gotta pose this question. I know there's an app called Bumble that lets women make the first move, but what do you guys think about women making the first move? Should they make the first move or should they not make the first move? Why does it matter? Like, yeah. why is it a big deal who makes the first move? In my opinion, hey, no, I, I, I definitely. That. What were you gonna say, Roman? Funny meme. And the meme was, it was so real. It was like, okay, fellas shooting they shots, but this, it got the WNBA too. Women could shoot their shot as well, baby. <laughs> Period. Shoot that shot, Go ahead, Jess, before I, I say was going to say, I think on this, um, this app, Bumble, you know, they want to keep women safe. So I do like the feature of we have to reach out first. But I also think there's a lot of creepy women out there as well. Mm -hmm. Just as mm -hmm. much as men. So I feel like, like Jamie said, who cares who makes the first move? Because mm -hmm. some women are just as creepy, just as corny, just as weird as these men are out here. So, Erica, did yeah. you make the first move or did your yeah. man make the first move? Actually, it was me. Oh. It was on Twitter, though. Yeah. It was on, okay, Twitter. Um, wasn't Instagram it was it was Twitter for me um <laughs> but I didn't thing, so. I probably I think I met him I met him like two years after I DM'd him because he didn't see me at first but then he seen me and he was like oh uh -huh. he like, yeah, oh, okay. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right y'all we could talk about this dating app thing forever but we do have to take a break and we want to say a huge thank you to miss erica banks for getting into the mix with us this evening i know y'all felt the energy through the screen at home we had a great time so make sure you're streaming all her music on all platforms and looking forward to those remixes that summer project the music video baby because i'm waiting for all of it <laughs> and i know i would say download bus it but if you don't by now you're living under a rock so that's kind of on yeah. you because everyone else has it and they're jamming to it so yeah get, get it together <laughs> basically maybe a bus it uh challenge bus video shoot maybe, maybe, just, maybe we'll do a little mix bus it challenge we'll see challenge y'all anyway i'm gonna just be watching like no, this. Romeo, you'll be the first video. I'm going to be watching. Right Thanks, Romeo. We'll be right back with more on the mix here on Fox Soul. Stay live. Welcome back to the mix, you guys. Yeah. Now, we lost a big one last week, and DMX unfortunately passed away, and we just want to send our condolences and prayers to his family and his children. Reportedly, DMX had just wrapped up an album in a recent interview. Rough Riders co-founder Darren D. Dean said they they had been in the studio in Nashville for four months and that this album is very special. Snoop Dogg is also a part of the album and who can forget the verses of D with DMX and Snoop Dogg that they just did together. D DMX is definitely gone too soon and I know we all can't wait to hear his final album. Oh. May he rest in peace. We love you DMX. Absolutely. We love DMX. And yesterday another black man was shot and killed in Minneapolis. We're sending all of our love and condolences and prayers to Dante Wright's family. He was just 20 years old. Mm. So Y'all, we almost out of time, but we have to, have to, have to thank like our favorite guest who stopped by the mix so far, Miss Erica Banks. Yes. She, us tonight. she was real, she was raw, she was funny. She was we amazing. Uh, thank y'all for watching. And a reminder that tomorrow is worth the conversation with Jeezy. It's back with a special guest, Bishop T.D. Jakes, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Pacific and 10 p.m. Eastern. So y'all, make sure y'all stay tuned right now for the Tammy Mac Late Show. But first, Fox Soul is saving you some money, y'all, some dinero again this week with their special Fox Soul deals. So check it out, and we'll see y'all next week, y'all, on the mix, yeah. baby. Oh, yes.